subscribers aren't turning notifications on. You're missing out on content. So hit that notification bell, would ya? If you haven't subscribed, I'd love if you'd join us. Leave a like and a comment, and I'd love to hear from you. And the Oscar goes to two distant strangers. This whole moment just feels like deja vu or something. Whoa, careful, man. It's a new shirt. All right, you are You didn't use your turn signal back there. Let me see some ID. Yes, sir. I am going to reach down now, very slowly. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Come on, Cynthia. You even used the exact same song. You're going to copy Groundhog Day so exactly and then claim someone stole your idea. Not only that, she stole from Miss Doubtfire too. License and registration, please. Oh, hello! Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse my face. I'm doing a last minute face mask. <laughs> well, I'm sure you don't need it. <laughs> you flirt, I'm married! Oh, well. Miss Hillen? The water's boiling. Hello! Ah! Oh, hello! Was the idea for the Oscar-winning short film Two Distant Strangers Stolen from Cynthia Cow's Groundhog Day for a Black Man? The short answer is yes. Even more sad is not even claiming it was inspired by her work. Her name was not mentioned at all during their Oscar thank yous. I've seen people, of course, trying to make it a racial issue on social media, even making claims like how dare an Asian person make a film about the black experience which I won't even give credence to because it's dumb. So what happened? Cynthia Cow made a critically acclaimed short called Groundhog Day for a Black Man. So you might argue the concept was stolen in the first place, but her film was about, you guessed it, a black guy who lives the same day over and over again. Of course, Harold Ramis is dead, so he can't exactly sue for it, but his co-writer for Groundhog Day is still around. But they wouldn't win because only part of the concept was taken from that earlier film. But the concepts in Groundhog Day for a black man and two distant strangers are so nearly identical that it is clear what now this did. They took a short film they knew would be popular and instead of developing a feature film with its creator, shut her out of the deal. A lot of young filmmakers, of course, the big wigs in the industry know often would agree to let their work be used when asked without a contract because they want to get seen in the industry. It is absolutely disgusting tactics that execs in the industry often use and hopefully it's a lesson learned by Miss Cow for future collaborations and projects. Let's let her explain in her own words. Four and a half years ago in 2016, I wrote and directed a short called Groundhog Day for a Black Man, which is about a black man who relives the same day over and over and tries different methods to survive a police interaction. Then, one year ago, after the murder of George Floyd, I got an email from Now This News. They said, we've recently seen your short film Groundhog Day for a Black Man and found it very powerful. We would love to amplify it and share the message with our audience. They ended up posting it to their Facebook and their Twitter page. Then, one year after Now This posts my short, Netflix puts out a short called Two Distant Strangers on April 9th, 2021. And it's about a black man who lives the same day over and over again and tries to survive a police interaction. It also got nominated for an Oscar. This hit me when I saw in the opening credits in association with Now This. This past Sunday, they just won an Oscar for that short, Two Distant Strangers. And I don't know what happened. I'm not making any assumptions. This is the actual email Now This producer sent her. The interesting part here, of course, is the promise of Credit Cow and her team in the YouTube description. Why couldn't they have credited the same for inspiring the short film version at the Oscars? So, well, Cow says she's not making assumptions, as I mentioned. It's clear she got her idea for Groundhog Day, and the producers of Two Distant Strangers got their idea from Groundhog Day for a Black Man. Both films deal with a person of color whose day always ends the same with an altercation with a police officer. According to Trayvon Free, as often as the Groundhog Day trope is used now to tell stories, 
and they've gotten more and more creative, this was the first time that it felt like an actual metaphor for something. It's a metaphor for what it's like to be black in America. It is the loop. When you produce media of any kind and you give permission for it to be used by a company like Now This, make sure you have the agreement in writing, get a contract, and make the terms clear for everyone involved. But don't take concepts from a brilliant movie like Groundhog Day without crediting those creators and then claim another creator stole your ideas. It'll never work in court. Cow claims she's not making any assumptions, but she wouldn't have made her TikTok claims if she wasn't accusing the producers of theft. And would she be complaining about it if the film had not won an Oscar? I'm not making any assumptions. The tactics that Hollywood producers often use are really shady, no doubt, which is why creators need to take steps to protect their creations. Now this in a statement claims, Two Distant Strangers was independently conceived and in final production for months before Now This became involved in the film, so any connection to it is out of the question. Neither party is in the right here. She borrowed or stole ideas. They stole ideas. And the Oscars should have seen the similarities. Race or gender swapping a popular successful film is not an original idea. But leaving a like on this video sure is. <laughs> The bad, 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 the bad,